Hey guys, I wanted to do this right quick. I wanted to use the Fenty Bright Fix. I did a video last night and it got deleted and whatever. And I'm also going to try this today. Um, I saw this one lady and she talked, she tried it and she talked about how much she loved it. And I'm just like, it just doesn't work for me. So we're going to, you know, I got to get that off. I'm going to prime as usual. The First Aid Beauty Niacinamide Brightening Eye Cream. This is just what I always use. Like I need some type of a primer for my concealer so my eyes don't look so dried out. Okay, so this is the Fenty Bright Fix in Deep Melon. And it does come out very aggressively, I guess you want to say. Like, you have, to, you have to be very careful. But I use a little applicator because it's nice and smooth. I have not added any more product. I'm just kind of using what I have and bringing it over. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more. I think the best way to do is just kind of squeeze out a little, not squeeze it down. Squeeze it up and just let it come up. I'm going to use my finger to blend this out first. Just because it's just a sheer formula. And it's very lightweight. I mean, look at that. That just... I mean, this is amazing. Now, look at this. Look how good this looks. I should have did a side-by-side -side comparison of what it looks like with and without, but... You saw me without it just a few seconds ago. Probably do like a steal of what I look like with and without. I should use the Y356. I haven't used this on camera yet. I'm gonna see how it looks. I still think it's kind of light. The Sephora person, when I talked to them, they suggested they suggested I get Y415. And I was like, uh, no. See, that still looks super light. I'm going in with the Kosas. This is 6.2 in. I'm going to set my face and I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I'm actually kind of scared. I think maybe when I was lighter, maybe it just didn't look good. Oh, I put too much. It's, mm, we'll just wait and see. I have not set my concealer, by the way. And that helps a lot when it comes to it not caking up right here. I've been using the Pat McGrath. We'll try this little Cheekster brush by MAC. And I'm just gonna tap. Tap it in and then just take a little bit more and just kind of smooth it out. Wow, that looks freaking amazing. Okay. So I'm just gonna, after I pat that in, I kind of 
kind of try to do a little buff out, but not too much. Looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it looks superb. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Still don't know if this Y365 is my shade. I still think it's too white. I mean, I guess it could be my shade. I don't know. Because once you put on bronzer and blush and everything, you just can't even really tell. I'm scared to go darker because, like I said, I saw a girl, she did Y405 and it looked so orange. But she made it work. I hate those words. Make it work. Let's make it work. We can make it work. I don't want to make my makeup work. My makeup should work for me. Anyway, I'm going to go and it's... I will see you guys later. Bye.